have seen emergency keys and high water vehicles head down this road. Entire neighborhoods are still cut off and emergency shelters are packed. This morning, rescuers are still scrambling to reach inundated parts of southeast Texas after one of the wettest tropical cyclones on record. It's just going outside and seeing people begging for help. It was, it was really scary. In and around Houston, there have been more than a thousand water rescues so far. Other cities like Beaumont and the small town of Winnie are devastated. And I woke up and I looked outside and everyone started Oh, there you are. It's covered in water. There was no way out. Pregnant mom Erica Zamora is now at an emergency shelter with her husband and children. I don't know. Starting over? With what? Because we don't have anything. The floods have turned deadly. 19-year-old Hunter Morrison was electrocuted and drowned while trying to save his horse. Another man died after driving into this high water. The remnants of Tropical Storm Imelda drenching some areas with more than 40 inches of rain. So much water, the roof of this Houston postal facility collapsed, injuring three people. The intensity of the storm caught many here by surprise. Everything can be replaced with people I'm worried about. An unfolding catastrophe prompting rescue after rescue. Jim and Leah Tesno are grateful they escaped with their kids. All I heard was, you know, you're just going to get a lot of rain. But we didn't really think too much of it. But uh, as the time passed, the water just kept coming, coming, coming. We did get a break in the rain overnight, but more rain is expected throughout the day. Parts of I-10 remain shut down, making it tough for rescue crews to get to some of the most impacted areas. Gabe here is NBC News.